Hello and welcome to the video. Today we got a special one for you. I'm gonna film a little bit of someone else's Oliver tractor collection. They also got some whites and a lot of old antique tractors. We're actually here shopping today for a motor. They were kind enough to let us check out their collection and film it. So we're gonna film it for you guys and, and uh, show you what they got. I'm already impressed with what I'm seeing so far. It's a beautiful collection. Well, a lot of it isn't even, it's not necessarily all painted up, but you can tell they're very, they're very straight and clean, yeah. which is sometimes worth, it shows they were working tractors, you know, not just a show. Starting off here in the front corner, yeah, 1555. Cock shut 1555, but painted up like an Oliver. That's nice cool. I wonder if them are just different, uh, different plates or or if it they repainted it all over another 1555 a couple of them a little 66 i got a big horse 1950t then we got the the equivalent, but in red, the cock shut. That is nice, though. That one here in the box. You can notice you are missing that. Yeah. But this other one's got better rubber on it. Look at the rubber on that one versus this one. Got some uh, mini Moline's over here, G550. Got one all painted up. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's a really windy day today. It's a nice day to be looking at some old antique tractors in a shed rather than being outside. Yeah, 1655 over here, a diesel. I love the, the fender tanks on these Olivers. Now that is a neat engine in this 2255 cat engine in there. That is awesome. That's gotta sound cool, that's for sure. Old 660 here painted up real nice. Even with a little disc here. Old 1755. Guy'll get lost looking at this collection. There's so much to look at. Super grateful that they allowed us to check out their collection. I've heard about it, but man, it is one heck of a collection. So we're at a place called the Tractor Doctor outside of Rock Falls, Wisconsin. They uh, restore and, and sell parts for old Olivers or Whites or kind of anything they can get their, their hands on from auctions and things they found across the country. And that's what's brought us here is because we're checking out an engine for our 1650. So if you guys are uh, looking for any kind of all of our work, this might be a, a place to check out. If they don't have what you want, I imagine they uh, 
they'd be able to point you in the right direction and where you could get it or find it or if it's even possible to find it anymore. They for sure uh, have some experience when it comes to working on old olivers or whites or He even uh, sells tractors too. So if you're looking for something specific like this, he'd be a guy to talk to. He'd be able to find it for you, or he might even have it and be able to sell it to you. We were joking when we were uh, looking at the motor that everything has a price. So I'm sure that holds true for some of the items even in here. Nineteen fifty-five cockshut. It's gonna put some big tires on it. Eighteen fifty with some big uh, floater truck tires in the back. Twenty fifty Oliver. As I'm walking through here, I'm kind of thinking this is almost a full-time job to keep up this collection. I give this family a lot of props. Twenty-one fifty Oliver. Oh, a nineteen hundred. That is cool. Thought I'd uh, give you guys more of a bird's eye view. Them old whites in the corner, they're pretty neat. Talking about them, I want to get a second look. I don't know a whole lot about whites, but it sure is an interesting line up there. I've never seen one with the American decal on the side. I wonder if that's, I'm assuming that's factory or some kind of special edition. Oh, Saul would love to see this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a G1000 peeking out from around the corner. And look at that block. I can't get over how big them blocks are on those Minneapolis Molines. That is insane. That thing is huge. is a Moline line up there. G1355, beautiful. We got a couple with the canopies on them. Not the Wheatland fenders, or at least I think those are what those are called. Diesel tanks on this one, the diesel fenders. Big digger. Wow. Yeah, Dad's right. This tractor really stands out. I'd be curious to know how much that's worth. Ooh, a nice little narrow front. That'd be handy for getting around the yard. I think something like that would fit our operation well. G750. It's a 
diesel. G750, the canopy on it, 2255, 1655, gosh, can't get over that line up of uh, Moline's. That is beautiful. Wow. Got a couple chrome stacks thrown in here. 1655 Two 1655s now and then we got a couple newer whites 270 Got a big white here in the middle, 2255. Another Caterpillar engine. What do you think, Dad? What do you think of the collection? It's a lot of tractors that take a whole town of people to to drive them. I was telling these guys how it's got to be almost a full-time job if you were to keep all this up. And I think all the batteries. Yeah. And there's a few of them I noticed on some low tires, but that's... Try, that's I'm trying to start these, yeah. There's probably a, a lot of them. Probably it'd be hard to get them started. You see those uh, Minneapolis Molines, the blocks on them things? Yeah. Just yeah. huge. Don't bring salt in here. Yeah, that's what I thought when I seen him. I came from the backside and I seen it peeking around the corner there, and then then it popped into those. That that's a nice whole lineup of, of them. I'll, I'll give it that. Them are rare. That's the thing. And to see that many of them painted up like that. And then I don't I don't know a whole lot about the whites, but these American editions must be kind of rare too. I don't know if you've seen them in the back corner there. Yeah. And I think this one looks like they just made fenders out of something. You guys will have to flood the comments telling us about all these different unique brands because by no means do we know <laughs> everything and anything about these. We yeah, there's he's uh, got a lot of stuff. He's yeah. been working on this one a while. I think it's it must be his dad and stuff. That oh yeah, it's a one big family collection from what I understand. Your mother wants this one. She was wondering what you th she thought that cost it though. She'll have to ask her. Take a guess. I'd, I'd probably guess 30 grand or more. Yeah, I'm thinking 25 30. You see this narrow front mini Moline? I think that'd fit perfect in the yard. I'd get around nice. Put the corn picker on that. Yeah, it looks like the same. Yeah, it looks very similar to our uh, 1650. That's the same frame, same hydraulic system. This has got the yeah, diesel in it. Even a Moline. They didn't just put Moline stickers on there. It almost looks like an olive shape. What about this? I wondered if it says what engine it is. If it's that uh, that Waukesha it diesel. Definitely. Well, I think in the late '60s, early '70s, they they merged together or something they like that. It must be something like that. It must be for a short while or something because it. So everything's the same except for the motor. That makes a difference. That picker fit this. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyways, we wanted to thank the family that uh, collected this for letting us look at the collection. We really appreciated it and uh, uh, taking the time to do a little business with us. And anyways, that's the collection. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, make sure to check out our other videos. As we end off the video here, there's a few things I wanted to share with you guys. Apparently when they switched shops and they moved across the road, they actually downsized their collection. Apparently they had another 2530 
tractors in their main collection. They had doubles or triples of, of certain models, so to, they decided to sell them off if they had a buyer. Crazy to think about that this collection had 25 or 30 more tractors. And uh, talking to the, this owner, he said that his favorite tractor is that 1950T cockshut that we pointed out. And I don't blame him, that is a sharp looking tractor. But apparently he recently got it done. Man, did it turn out sharp. What a beautiful collection.